Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you exactly today how to create a ripped paper effect in Illustrator. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we are drawing a shape, all right? So I'm going to use a rectangle as an example. I'm going to go ahead and grab this pen trace tool and we're going to go and we are going to draw the lines that we would like to make our paper effect on. Now make sure that this line that you've drawn is selected. We're going to now go to effects on the top of our menu and we're going to look for distort and transform and we are going to click on roughen. Now basically here you can play around with the size, detail and the points and once you're happy with the results you can click on OK. Let's go ahead and make sure that we are selecting our line again. We're going to now go over to object on the top of our menu and we're going to look for expand and appearance. Now you need to click down and drag, make sure that everything has been selected. We're going to now go over to the left hand side. We're going to look for our shape builder tool. Again, if you can't find it, you can just jump into the three dots and look for it over here. Now what we want to do is hold in alt on our keyboard and you just want to draw a line over the excess on the left and the right. And this will allow you to delete these excess lines. Now once you've selected this part of your element, you'll see that there is a properties that shows up on the right hand side. We're going to go into appearance and let's choose a color. Let's go ahead and choose a color for this end piece over here, which is where the tear of the paper is happening. Now let's go up to effect in our toolbar and we are going to go and look for stylize and from this menu you are going to use the drop shadow. Over here we can change all of the properties, so the mode, opacity, and the offset as well as the blur. And uh, we can then click on OK once we're happy with these changes. You can now change the color of your design or anything else for that matter, but the torn paper effect now has been created.